It is the hope of the obedient remnant people that once this truth gets out there far and wide about the Vatican infiltration and the SDA leadership, many still sitting in the pews will awaken from their prophesied slumber to join the remnant of her seed so as to do as Jesus promised his obedient bride will do. Everyone knows the leaders in the SDA church have not been trustworthy for decades. And I praise the Lord that some are finally beginning to discover the well-hidden information I am now sharing that shines the light of day upon the infiltration of Rome. As per historic and prophetic record, this is how Rome has always worked, behind the scenes. Next to no one in the church pews know about what their leaders are up to. I mean, the hierarchical structure of Rome that is now in the SDA church is one surefire way to make sure next to no one in the pews ever discovers these hidden documents. And so I hope to open the doors wide, look under the rugs, peek in the closets, and do as the obedient people of God have done for eons to help those that love the Lord find their way back to safety in His loving arms. The patriarchs and prophets of old knew about the apostasy in the church, just as the obedient remnant people of today, who are known to follow only the Lamb, whithersoever He goeth. We know that those refusing to obey the Lord are being shaken out of the true church of Jesus Christ as we speak. This is why our message is with urgency. The longer you stay in the apostate SDA church, the harder it's going to be for you to get out of there, especially after your conference leaders and pastors who were declared official government agents by President Bush back on March 7, 2006, and thanks to President Trump's pen in 2017, these SDA leaders can now lobby for religious law, as their 501c3 has permanently granted them the power to do so on December 2, 2017. In this video, I want to show how the SDA leaders are echoing the same heretical lie the popes have declared for centuries regarding their claims that salvation is only found by staying in the church, no matter how sinful it is. Notice what Rome has been saying all along, and continues to say to this day. It was stated by Pope Pius IX in Vatican I that outside the church, there is no salvation. And then he also said, for there is one universal, or Catholic, church, outside of which no one at all is saved. Pope Francis stated, just a few years ago, you cannot love God outside of the church. You cannot be in communion with God without being so in the church. And then Pope Boniface VIII stated there had been at the time of the deluge, you know, the flood of Noah, only one ark of Noah, prefiguring the one church. And we read that outside of this ark, all that subsisted on the earth was destroyed. Now, with that said, is it possible the SDA church is also teaching their flock that there is no salvation outside the church? Worse yet, do they also claim the church is as the Ark of Noah, just as the popes of Rome have done for centuries? Well, notice this statement from October of 1994 from the Ontario Conference. Regardless of the pretext or how righteous the cause may appear, separation from the visible remnant, which they claim is the Seventh-day Adventist Church, is apostasy from the body of Christ. Then in 1992, it was stated from the North American Division that the local Seventh-day Adventist Church becomes the port of entry to the kingdom of God. And then in 1984, Floyd Brees, the Associated Secretary of the General Conference, stated there is some relationship between salvation and church membership. And then he also stated on the same day in 1984 that the church is like Noah's Ark. It will help save God's people. And just to reiterate, Pope Pius IX stated this at Vatican I in 1854. He said, we must hold as of the faith that out of the apostolic Roman Catholic Church, there is no salvation, that she is the only ark of safety, and whosoever is not in her perishes in the deluge, which means the flood of Noah, or flood of sin in the context. So, just so you know, according to the Word of God, in many beautiful verses, we can know that no one is saved by a denominational name or any church, building, or body. 
2,000 years ago, the Jewish leaders rejected Christ and caused many who followed their lead to go to their graves without a Savior. By twisting the truth, so as to cause the people to trust the church leaders over the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the warning the Apostle Peter declared 2,000 years ago obviously needs to be repeated today onto all those that are trapped in the SDA church thinking they are saved by the church or by staying in it. When speaking of Jesus Christ, Peter said in Acts chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, that this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Thank you for watching. God bless.